In our last video, we discussed Alaska Airlines 4F's approach to sustainability, flights, fleet, fuel, and future. In this video, we're going to dig deeper into our third F, fuel. More specifically, Sustainable Aviation Fuel, or SAF. For those just jumping in, I'm JP Wilson, Alaska Airlines Chief Pilot based in Portland, Oregon. And I'm here to proudly share Alaska's journey to becoming a greener and more sustainable airline for all. When we think about sustainability as an airline, sustainable aviation fuel rises to the top as our greatest opportunity in the near and medium term to reach our ambitious goal of net zero carbon emissions by 2040. So what makes SAF special compared to regular fuel? Where traditional jet fuel is created from oil that puts new carbon into the atmosphere, SAF comes from recycled carbon. This means it takes existing trash and byproducts, even directly recaptured carbon, and gives them a second life, reducing life cycle carbon emissions of fuel by up to 80%. Simply put, waste materials can be reused to help make air travel more sustainable. Crazy, I know. Let's talk about how sustainable aviation fuel is made. It all starts with existing trash and waste materials known as feedstocks. These feedstocks include materials such as sugarcane crops, used cooking oil, forest residue, and recaptured carbon. These feedstocks are collected, treated, and taken to a refinery where they're converted into fuel. From there, this fuel can be mixed directly with traditional jet fuel in a plane. Best of all, it doesn't require any change in existing aircraft infrastructure to use it. That's why we call it drop-in fuel, because we can just drop it right in and mix it with traditional jet fuel. The concept of drop-in fuel is huge because we can start using it immediately without having to overhaul a system that could take years to put in place. And did you know the way it reduces carbon isn't from how the fuel is burned? It's actually rooted in the material that the fuel is made from the production process, and how it's delivered to airplanes. That's why we use the term life cycle carbon emissions. SAF offers a huge opportunity, but it doesn't come without challenges as we try to scale. In our next video, we'll talk a bit more about the barriers to making SAF mainstream and our plan to overcome those challenges. We'll also address our broader focus on innovation and our approach to navigating the future of sustainability as more innovations come to life. 